Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and let's talk about this machine. I know I was supposed to do a live stream today, but guys, I'm honestly, I'm really tired. So I decided to just do a little vi video as a treat for you guys, you know, not to leave, not to leave you got not to leave you guys without, you know, something to show. <laughs> so this is the little project I've been working in in the background. Now, remember on the last live stream, I kind of mentioned to you guys that I like to think outside the box and just like not necessarily create a printer but just take a different aspect of nice printers or cool printers in my opinion and put them all together and this is what this machine is it's like a frankenstein hybrid of other printers just now uh, other mods and printers just thrown together so this is originally a sunlu a sunlu s8 um but it's you know i've i've turned this into a switch wire but now I'm breaking it down to do something else. Just something unique and different. Now let's get into what I've done. So, so far I have, I've redesigned, I've designed this to run on uh, dual MGN 9H linear rails, but I've redesigned the, um, the STL to make it look a little neater. So as you can see, I've redesigned it to be a little lower before it was thick and, and boxy and square. This is a little lower, a little nicer. Um, and also requires um, uh, uh, heated inserts, M4 heated inserts. So that's what I'm using on the ABS here. This is printed in the ABS and heated inserts so that way it mounts on the bed nicely. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. It's nice and stiff. Um, so that's that's the first. Um, I've designed that and I will release that for those who want to run M dual MGM9 or linear rail on their uh, Sunlu S8 or any other machine that is similar. Uh, to this that that you can use it on um, these uh, belt holder uh, I got from a rat rig um, uh, bed flinger I can't remember the name quite yet I might just put it on the actual screen but I got that from rock big um, I also uh, got this mod off thingiverse here it's basically a replacement for the stock Sunlu um, belt idler um, I, I just like this much. Uh, I just like this much better because you can tension it ne um, nicer, and um, it's printed in ABS as well, so it just makes it look neat. Um, for as you can see, I'm running dual motors here. This is 10 millim um, 10 millimeter belts, um, and uh, I'm running dual motors here just because I want the extra torque, and not um, and then um, just for speed. So just a little bit of speed. I'm not planning to go super crazy fast with this thing. But you know, 5K XL somewhere around there. You know, it's a bed flapper, so you can't really go crazy. But just a decent, nice quality machine that prints faster than average is what I'm looking for. Um, so basically, I found this mod, these modded Pusher. This is from a uh, basically this was the Pusher um, Y motor holder that was modified um, to accommodate a extrusion to mount it on a. Uh, on the standard 2020 extrusion so i got that off printables.com um, printables and so this <laughs> it ended up working out really nice in my favor because i was able to mirror the other one and have i um, run dual motors on this so this is going to be really nice for the dual motor setup here um what else so other than the dual motor setup i'm also planning on to uh I, I did the belted Z. This is the Kevin Sam, I wanna say, belted Z mod for the Ender setup. So that's what I went with, just for the for the um, the Z axis, just to prevent any Z banding or anything like that. So I have it set up and belted. As you can see in the back here, the belt is already ran and everything set up here. So as you can see, so I got everything printed. And like I said, everything is printed in ABS. Um, so no issues there in terms of heat or whatever. I won't be enclosing this even though I could have been I can build an enclosure for it, but I won't be enclosing this. This is just going to strictly print a bunch of PLA and PTG. Um, the next thing I also printed out was the Trident feet. So I'm going to be running the Trident skirt here. I will be putting a panel underneath here and then run all the electronics underneath. Um, so this is going to be pretty cool and then of course set it up like the trident where you have the fan at the side blowing on the electronics all that fancy gizmo now i will be requiring some help from uh squirrel brain i will be pricking his brain to help me get the skirt neatly printed for this type of setup here 
just the length of the skirt and maybe modify the skirt just so I can fit it and make sure everything look good. So there will be a pan panel underneath here and then a panel at the bottom just to keep everything enclosed. And um, if you're wondering how I'm gonna mount the electronics, I will be having, like the custom panel will have holes to mount um, a um, din rail too, like maybe two nice piece of din rail going across. That way I can mount the power supply and all the necessary um, a electronics underneath to keep everything nice and clean and neat. So. Just, I mean, I'm so excited for this project. Uh, again, I'm working on the background with it. There will be updated videos with this in mind. And like I said, once I finish the project, I'll give you guys like all the STL, all the files and everything if you guys wanna build this or do this to a machine yourself. But like I said, some of these are already available. Like I said, they, they, this is uh, the Kevin Sam um, uh, belted Z and the mod. Um, some of this stuff, like I said, um, you can get from you know, rat rig yourself if you want to pull it down through Fusion 360, convert that file into a SDL and print. However, if you wait until this build series is over, I'll uh, house that all these files in a a OneDrive link and post that so you guys can um, you know go ahead and build yourself one. So, but yeah, stay tuned. I'm excited for this build. It's it again. It's it's coming off the top of my head. This wasn't a drawing. I'm just envisioning it as I go. Um, but like I said, it's a it's multiple stuff put together to make a nice, awesome uh, printer of my own taste. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys that it's coming along. Um, as I get more stuff and acquire more stuff, you'll see more video on it until I put it together. Now, as far as the bed, I'm planning just to use the stock bed because it's lighter lighter than using a thicker aluminum bed. Um, so I wanna keep this, the bed as light as possible. So I will be using the stock bed. However, I won't be putting glass on it. I'll just put a nice piece of PI sheet directly over the aluminum bed um, just to keep the weight down. Um, and um, just to, again, keep the, the input shaper and all that uh, good jazz um, to conformity there. Um, that way I'm not running into any, any vibration issues. I will be using the MGM 12 linear rail here um, for X access as well. I'm not sure what extruder I'm going on, I'm gonna go with. I'm looking at the, BQ, the BQH2 extruder setup. It may be a little bulky, but um, I think it could work great for this setup. I'm also looking into a sharper mini, uh, sharper mini extruder setup as well. So I'm looking at a various uh, different type of extruder I wanna run with this type of setup here. It will be direct drive. Um, so I'm looking into a couple of other options, but yeah guys, I just wanted to show you guys this, like, you know, I'm making some progress with it. Um, and that, <laughs> the, the Anis K3 is back there. Um, got some work to do on that next week. So there is definitely a stream next week to get more stuff done on that machine. But I didn't want to leave you guys um, without a video showing you what I'm working on in the background. So I've been working on this for a couple of days now and this is where I got to. So I just wanted to show, share that with you guys. So stay tuned for more videos. And um, yeah guys, so peace out and I'll see you guys in the next one.